Nicole Kidman, Nicole Mary Kidman AC, is an Australian and American actress and producer. Known for her work in film and television productions across many genres, she has consistently ranked among the world's highest paid actresses. Wikipedia Born, June 20, 1967, age 57 years, Honolulu, Hawaii, United States. Spouse, Keith Urban, M. 2006, Tom Cruise, M. 1990-2001. Children, Isabella Jane Cruise, Connor Cruise, Sunday Rose Kidman Urban. Height, 1.8 meters. Parents, Janelle and Kidman, Anthony Kidman. Siblings, Antonia Kidman. Elegant Nicole Kidman, known as one of Hollywood's top Australian imports, was actually born in Honolulu, Hawaii, while her Australian parents were there on educational visas. Kidman is the daughter of Janelle Ann, Glennie, a nursing instructor, and Anthony David Kidman, a biochemist and clinical psychologist. She is of English, Irish, and Scottish descent. Shortly after her birth, the family moved to Washington, D.C., where Nicole's father pursued his research on breast cancer, and then, three years later, made the pilgrimage back to her parents' native Sydney in Australia, where Nicole was raised. Young Nicole's first love was ballet, but she eventually took up mime and drama as well. Her first stage role was a bleeding sheep in an elementary school Christmas pageant. In her adolescent years, acting edged out the other arts and became a kind of refuge. As her classmates sought out fun in the sun, the fair-skinned Kidman retreated to dark rehearsal halls to practice her craft. She worked regularly at the Philip Street Theatre, where she once received a personal letter of praise and encouragement from audience member Jane Campion, then a film student. Kidman eventually dropped out of high school to pursue acting full-time. She broke into movies at age 16, landing a role in the Australian holiday favorite Bush Christmas, 1983. That appearance touched off a flurry of film and television offers, including a lead in BMX Bandits, 1983, and a turn as a schoolgirl turned protester in the miniseries Vietnam, 1987, for which she won her first Australian Film Institute award. With the help of an American agent, she eventually made her U.S. debut opposite Sam Neill in the at sea thriller Dead Calm, 1989. Kidman's next casting coup scored her more than exposure. While starring as Tom Cruise's doctor, love interest in the racetrack romance Days of Thunder, 1990, she won over the Hollywood hunk hook. Line and sinker. After a whirlwind courtship, and decent box office returns, the couple wed on December the 24th, 1990. Determined not to let her new marital status overshadow her fledgling career, the actress pressed on. She appeared as a caddy high school senior in the Australian film, Flirting, 1991, then as Dustin Hoffman's mall in the gangster flick Billy Bathgate, 1991. She reunited with Cruz for Far, and Away, 1992, the story of young Irish lovers, who flee to America in the late 1800s, and starred opposite Michael Keaton in the Tear Tugger My Life, 1993. Despite her steady employment, critics and moviegoers still had not quite warmed to Kidman as a leading lady. She tried to spice up her image by seducing Val Kilmer in Batman Forever, 1995, but achieved her real breakthrough with Gus Van Sant's To Die For, 1995. As a fame-crazed housewife determined to eliminate any obstacle in her path, Kidman proved that she had an impressive range and deadly comic timing. She took home a Golden Globe and several critics' awards for the performance. In 1996, Kidman stepped into a corset to work with her country woman and one-time admirer, Jane Campion, on the adaptation of Henry James' The Portrait of a Lady, 1996. A few months later, she tore across the screen as a nuclear weapons expert in The Peacemaker. 1997, adding, action star, to her professional repertoire. She and Cruz then disappeared into a notoriously long, secretive shoot for Stanley Kubrick's sexual thriller Eyes, Wide Shut, 1999. The couple's on-screen shenanigans prompted an increase in public speculation about their sex life. Rumors had long been circulating that their marriage was a cover-up for Cruz's rumored homosexuality, tired of denying tabloid attacks. They successfully sued the star for a story alleging that they needed a sex therapist to coach them through love scenes. Family life has always been a priority for Kidman. Born to social activists, mother was a feminist, father, a labor advocate, Nicole and her little sister, 
and Tonya Kidman, discussed current events around the dinner table and participated in their parents' campaigns by passing out pamphlets on street corners. When her mother was diagnosed with breast cancer, 17-year-old Nicole stopped working and took a massage course so that she could provide physical therapy. Her mother eventually beat the cancer. She and Cruz adopted two children, Isabella Jane, born 1993, and Connor Anthony, born 1995. Despite their rock-solid image, the couple announced in early 2001 that they were separating due to career conflicts. Her marriage to Cruz ended mid-summer of 2001. Family Spouses Keith Urban, June, the 25th, 2006, present, two children. Tom Cruise, December, the 24th, 1990, August, the 8th, 2001, divorced, two children. Children, Isabella Jane Cruz, Sunday Rose Kidman Urban, Faith Margaret Kidman Urban, Connor Cruz, parents, Janelle and Kidman, Glennie, Anthony David Kidman, relatives, Antonia Kidman, sibling, trademarks, statuesque, model-like figure. Her independent films often feature the theme of grief and sorrow, such as Birth, 2004, and Rabbit Hole, 2010, often portrays upper-class women in epics, such as Ada Monroe in Cold Mountain, 2003, Mary Coulter in The Golden Compass, 2007, Lady Sarah Ashley in Australia, 2008, and Gertrude Bell in Queen of the Desert, 2015, Radiant, Alabaster Skin, High Cheekbones. Trivia. She saved Hugh Jackman from a poisonous scorpion, on the set of Australia, 2008. While she was about to join Hugh in the bag, she noticed the poisonous scorpion crawling up his leg. She calmly told him not to move and squatted down, scooped the arachnid into her hat, and walked over to the woods and released it. Everyone applauded but was asked why she hadn't just stomped on it. She said, I would never kill an animal. Every creature here has its purpose. This one just didn't belong in Hugh's bag. A very tall woman at nearly five. 11. She actually stood about four inches taller than ex-husband Tom Cruise, and rarely wore heels when seen publicly with him so that they could appear similar in height. Since their divorce, she is rarely seen on the red carpet without high heels, and she often meets 6. 4. Actors in the eye. She was already 5. 9. When she was aged 13. Has never used a body double for her nude scenes? On set of Cold Mountain, 2003, she gave co-star Natalie Portman the advice to Always choose a film by its director. You're never certain how the movie will turn out, but you're always guaranteed an interesting experience. In 2010, Portman said that she always had that in mind. During her career, Keith Urban gave Nicole a first edition of Emily Bronte's novel, Wuthering Heights, purchased from Sotheby's for $200,000 as a wedding present. Quotes, August 2000, on her marriage to Tom Cruise, Every day there is a compromise. Living with somebody requires a lot of understanding. But I love being married. I really love it. Sometimes I try to downplay it a bit because people are like, God you guys. I just feel so fortunate that I have found someone who will put up with me and stay with me. On husband Tom Cruise, I wouldn't want to be married to me, but luckily he does. 801. Commenting on her breakup with Tom Cruise, now I can wear heels. It's so bizarre, I'm not scared of snakes or spiders but I'm scared of butterflies. There is something eerie about them. Something weird. On winning the Academy Award for the Hours, 2002, and I am standing in front of my mother, and my whole life I have wanted to make my mother proud. And now I'm going to make my daughter proud. Salaries. Big Little Lies, 2017, $1.000.000, Season 2, including producer fees. Australia, 2008, $13 million. The Golden Compass, 2007, $15 million. Margot at the Wedding, 2008, $6,000. The Invasion, 2007, $16 million. Bewitched, 2005, $17,500,000. The Interpreter, 2005, $15 million. Birth, 2004, $3 million. The Stepford Wives, 2004, $15 million. Cold Mountain, 2003, $15 million. Dogville, 2004, $2,800,000. The Hours, 2003, $7,500,000. Birthday Girl, 2002, $1,500,000. The Others, 2001, $7 million. Milan Rouge, 2001, $7,000,000. Eyes Wide Shut, $1,999. $6,500,000. Practical Magic, 
$1,998, million. The Peacemaker, $1,997, $5 million. The Portrait of a Lady, $1,997, $2,500,000. Batman Forever, $1,995, $2,500,000. To Die For, $1,995, $2,000,000. $2 My Life, $1,993, $500,000. Far and Away, $1,992, $250,000. Billy Bathgate, $1,991, $200,000. Days of Thunder, $1,990, $200,000.